I found a coat that retails for thousands of dollars. If you saw my Instagram today, you probably know what brand I'm talking about. Stick around and I will show you everything else I picked up these last couple of days, including that amazing coat. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Heather. I am a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan and I am a volleyball coach, I am a volleyball player, and I love Disney. I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Those are my three main platforms. I also sometimes sell things to The Real Real and ThreadUp, and, and then I sell things through like Instagram and my Facebook group. So you can find all of that information in my description below. I picked up a lot of things, actually not a ton, I guess, but a good amount of things the last couple of days. I was going to do a thrift with me, but my nephew ended up coming over and we went out to dinner and so it was just a whole different thing. Family is going to be more important sometimes. So um, I'm just going to kind of show you what I picked up. Uh, I'll save the really awesome item that I got at the end. I've never found this brand before and I think it's going to be my best sale ever. So let's just get started. This is an Obermeyer, like um, it's a size 12, like ski snowboard bibs. So I've heard other people have been saying that these are selling really well right now. I guess for the people who are still being careful, this is a good thing that you can go out and do and most likely stay away from people. I don't, I don't ski, <laughs> but I would think that'd be something that could easily, you could like kind of do your own thing. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, this is a Torrid bra. So this is a size 40 D. These will sell for me usually around 20 or 25. It's like black lace. Um, this is Athleta. If I can get this little tag. I can tell like that. I know that's Athleta when I see it in the racks. After you do this for a while, you just recognize stuff. So it's Athleta size medium. It's a really cute dress. It's got like a color blocking, um, and a zip in the front. Long sleeve. This is Kalia Carrie Underwood. So I haven't actually been selling this very good lately. Um, I think I just had a new with tag sweatshirt that sold for like 12 or 15 and I had it for a really long time too. So, and then some leggings too, I think recently for like 12, I don't know. So I'm kind of being a little more picky with what I pick up from this, but I like this, um, pattern and I liked that it was a bigger size in the extra large. So that's why I thought I would try this over passing on some of the other things. Um, this is a cacique. Is that how you say it? Bra. It's a size 44 DD. It's a plunge bra and it's like this sheer red lace style. So that looks really uncomfortable. I don't want to wear any bras with wires anymore. <laughs> like I'm over that phase in my life. I just want to be comfortable as much as possible. Another athleticized medium, probably the same person. It's a black dress. It's got zippers in the front. It's kind of a shorter one um, and long sleeves. I'm not doing my rack today. I'm just feeling lazy and kind of tired. Um, it actually was like 55 degrees here today. So for Iowa in December, that's amazing. So we went on a hike and I don't know, I just got crappy sleep and everyone left the house. So I'm like, you know what? I need to do a haul video. This is a torrid size one. It's a bird print, like faux wrap dress. It's really cute. It's short sleeve. Um, it's very stretchy. So yes, that's good this is a beyonce size extra large uh tour sweatshirt it looks to be from 2016 the formation world tour so i saw that they sell in poshmark around 25 to 30 so i picked up that and then this is a pair of page jeans size 29 these are the jimmy jimmy skinny these sell for me around 30 so Again, if you see anything you like or you're interested in buying, I'll have my information below and you can contact me and we can work out a deal off of the um, platforms just, you know, for less fees. Okay, these I'm going to have to figure out what size they are because I can tell it's Athleta, but it's like worn out. Um, I kind of like right away with the tag, but then definitely, you know, it's here. Actually, I wonder if this is like... I'm like, does this have a size anywhere on here? Just if anybody knows, let me know. Like, I think that's just the style numbers. Anyway, they're a pair of black pants and they seem to be like a 10 or 
large or something like that. And they have the drawstring at the bottom to kind of make them a jogger style. So what I'll probably do if I can't figure out the size is I'll just look up the style. I'll find someone else selling that same style and look at their measurements and compare them. That's pretty easy to do and I've done that before. This is for my brother. It's a Under Armour. Don't really need to see the logo for that. It's a 2XL, just blue polo. You know what? I'm going to put his stuff in a separate pile. Usually I'll see him every few weeks and I either meet up with him or we get together with family. Um, this is uh, another one he said he wanted to try, but he's never heard of it. Ratio clothing. Let me know if you've heard of this below. It's a men's dress shirt. And I don't know. <laughs> I literally know nothing about it. But I think when we looked up comps on eBay, they were around 35 or so. So he said he would try it. So I got that for him. I got this for him too. It's a Vineyard Vines men's polo. It's blue and white striped. That's a good brand to sell for men. Um, another men's item. This is an affliction for the buckle. So he doesn't get some of his stuff, he said, but I think this one with all of these, um, just, I don't know, the way it's colored and the details and the embroidery, he said he would try that one. I guess it's probably a little more interesting than a, a basic one. And then this is a Lululemon men's jacket. It's green. I think it's a size large and the logo is right down here. For some reason, like when I was flipping the rack, I did, there's not even like a rip tag spot, but like right away, I just somehow knew it was Lululemon. I don't know. Like after you do it for a while, I feel like you can just, you start feeling quality and you can just tell. So yeah. Oops. Okay, this is a men's, I don't know how to say this, but I know it's an expensive brand for like suits or like business. 100% um, cotton, orange, button up, button down shirt. And then another men's brand, this is Santorelli Trim Fit, 16 and a half. It's a pink shirt. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, that ski suit I had, it had a jacket with it. I knew it did. Okay, so I'll fill them together as long as they're the same size. Let me see. Yes, they are. They're both size 12. So for sure, I will sell that together. It looks to be vintage, like this tag. It looks older. So I don't know, but I definitely will sell those together. Um, this is an Athleta sweater. I can't find the size off the... I'm not going to spend forever looking. It's like a white textured long sleeve sweater. It looks, I don't know. I think, I think I sold something like this before called the honeycomb sweater, but I don't know if that's what this one is. And I don't know the size, but it seems to be like a medium. Maybe. Um, here's Athleta again. This is a size large and it is this cool blue, I mean black, <laughs> eh. Um, long sleeve open cardigan, but if you can see this design, that's cool. Unique. These are Athleta size zero, um, just like a navy blue pants. These look to kind of be like the Trekkie joggers, but I'm not sure. I'll look up the style. And then... This store kind of sucked when I went this night. <laughs> Another Athleta size medium. I didn't get a look through the whole store though. And this is a black skirt. It's kind of a little bit shorter in the front than the back. Um, so yeah, that's cute. Like I said, a lot of bread and butter stuff. How have your guys' sales been on Poshmark? Cause mine have been stupid all week. Like, oh my gosh, so slow. I feel like I'm still getting a decent amount of likes and I'm sending out offers and I'm sharing my closet like I always do, but it's like no one is freaking taking my offers hardly. And like, or I get stupid, really low offers, like $30 and 120 pair of boots. Ugh. Okay. These are Nautilus shoes, safety footwear. It says they have a steel toe and they're a size nine and a half. I looked up comps and they're kind of all over the place, but these were pretty cheap and they seem to be in pretty good condition. So I thought I would try them and I'll probably price them around 40 unless I can find like this exact style with a little bit more research, like if they're worth 
more or less. These are a men's um, Salvatore Ferragamo. Oh my gosh, I can't see it. So this is definitely a good brand. It has it there on the buckle. They are a bigger size. Um, <laughs> now I'm like, is this like 13 or 14? Okay, I don't know if you can see these numbers. There you kind of can. So 14's right here, but 13's over there. 13D is over here. I think it's the 13. Tell me if you like know about men's shoes and how to read them. Um, these are a pair of Lucky Brand boots. They're in a size six. They're just like this brown leather. Very cute. Good uh, style right now. It's selling well. And these are Tom's boots. They have like this cute, like soft. I don't know why I can't think of what that's called. I don't know. <laughs> um, and these. Oh, God. The size is like on this back zipper inside. Weird area. They're a size eight and a half, I think. I'll have to look at the other one because it's really hard to, to read. Okay. I don't do this in the rack. It's actually way more annoying because it's like crap everywhere. Okay, this is a pair of Sea Wonder heels, which I think is sold to Anthropology sometimes. I don't know if this style was. I'll have to look. But they are really cute, and they also are brand new, and they were $3.99. So this was a thrift store I went to in Omaha. It's a small one. Um, they're size eight and a half. And my favorite thing about this thrift store is they had enter at your own risk for a mask policy. If you follow me, you know my opinion on masking healthy people. Um, so anyway, that was amazing. That's rare these days. That's how I think it should be. I mean, we put ourselves at risk all the time anyway. These are Echo pair of shoes. So this black leather with like this pebbled toe detail, they're really cute. They have a little bit of wear, but hardly any. And they are a size 10. And then I found a Tom's um, women's blue shoes. These are a size 11. They do seem to be worn a little bit, but not very much. There's no wear on the toe or the heel. I guess I got more shoes than I realized recently. I like selling shoes that are easy to photograph. Although my storage is like, I have all this. And then I have this like random old toy chest my kids used to have where I put all my athletic shoes. And so I'm like, ooh. These are Fit Flop. They're like a snake skin. They're really cute. They're in really good condition. And these are a size seven. Nope, eight. UK seven, US eight. And these are a pair of Nike fly knits, which usually sell quickly for me and pretty well. They've got that really um, breathable, stretchy material. And these are size nine and a half. So I think that's all for shoes. Let me move on to my last bag here. Um, this is a Bowdoin dress. This was some little store I went to and all of their clothes were half off. This is a size 10 long which would be perfect for me because I wear a size 10 and I'm tall, but I probably would never wear this dress. First of all, I don't wear dresses very much. Second of all, if I do, it needs to be super stretchy and flowy and comfortable. And this is not, I don't know. I guess some people might think it's comfortable, but I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, this is a We The Free, Free People size medium. It's just a classic like thermal little V-neck. And then it's got the cuff details here. They don't sell for much, but they usually sell quick. Um, this is a spiritual gangster size medium gray t-shirt. It's got like the different stages of the moon on it. So that's cute. I picked up this brand before Brochu Walker. So it was only one fifty since the store was half off. Ooh, if you can see that. Um, it's pretty expensive, but I don't know how well it resells. So I think I might have sent it into the thread up or the real real before. So I don't know what I'll do with that. Um, this is a men's coat, I believe. It's a J. Crew size medium. It's a wool blend. It doesn't have the style number, but it seems to be a men's just because of, I don't know, the fit. Like, I can tell, like, it's kind of wider. Um, this is a pair of DL 1961 jeans, size 28. Kind of same with the page. They are really expensive, but I only sell them for about $30. But still, they were a good price. Um, these are a pair of Spanx, size medium. You can hear my dog upstairs freaking out. 
Um, Spanx have been doing very well for me. My faux leather pair that I sold recently sold very quick for a really good price. These jegging kind of style I know will be good and they probably will go pretty quick. Okay, so this is Athleta again, size medium. It's a black sweater. It looks to have a little bit of an asymmetrical hem, long sleeve. I, so I don't know, same 25, 30. I feel like a lot of stuff I've got was 20, 25, 30. This is Eileen Fisher. I've actually, um, this store originally had this price at 1998 and I have seen this for like a month. <laughs> And I kept waiting for it to go down when they changed their um, sale colors. Like I would have paid the half off price, but when I went yesterday, it was 98 cents. It was a 98 cents color. So I was like, yes. So I didn't want to pay $20 for it, but I mean, I probably could still make profit, but I definitely wanted to wait till it went down. And let me see what it's made out of. It is 100% linen and it is a large. So I think that will do well. And so I was excited to pick that up. Okay, my last thing is my crazy find. So, what was happening as I went into this little random thrift store that I go in sometimes? Um, we have tons of thrift stores in my area. So, I like to hit up the big Goodwills and the known ones, and I also like to hit up the little ones. This was in a little one, so don't skip the random little ones. Um, it was almost 6 o'clock, and I didn't realize that they were closing at 6 o'clock, and so I'm just flipping through the racks, and all of a sudden, like, I was the only one in there. And the, she starts turning on the lights in the back of the store, turns off the music. I'm like, oh, I guess that's the hint to leave. And so I see this and all I see is made in Italy. And I'm like, oh, let me look that up really fast. Because honestly, I found a lot of things that say made in Italy that aren't that good. And I look it up on eBay and right away I see what people had listed it for. And I was like, holy crap, like high hundreds or like thousands. I'm like, uh, What? And it was $25. So I'm like, okay, I gotta, you know, make sure. And I looked on solds really quick and didn't do too much research, but I definitely, I'm like, yes, I'm getting this. So it's Laurel Piana, if that's how you say it. It's this coat, this leather coat. It's actually made of deer leather. It's super soft. The inside is lined with cashmere and the sleeves are lined with silk. So crazy crazy good quality i started looking up some of their coats on their websites and they're like in the thousands and some of the coats were like twenty five thousand. like seriously crazy the only one thing let me know what you guys think i should do but like this sleeve see how it's kind of like out a little bit so it's almost like it needs to like stay up in there a little bit better and i don't know if there's a way to I don't know. I don't hardly ever, actually, I don't say I hardly ever. I've never taken anything anywhere for someone to fix it. Um, I usually just sell as is. I don't think that's a huge deal. There's a couple little spots I need to like, I think that'll just wipe off though. But so I tried to look up like um, deer leather cashmere men's coat. And I found a couple solds for like around $1,000. So it's crazy. It's a size 50. I don't know what that relates to. I'll have to look it up. Um, I'm so excited. It's probably going to be my best sale I've ever had. My biggest sale I've ever had, I think was around $400 sweater that I found. It was a purple label Ralph Lauren new with tag sweater. And that was actually like within my first few weeks of reselling. And I think this is going to be my biggest sale ever. So I'm so excited. Let me know if you guys have ever found this brand before. Super exciting. So that is what I picked up. It's not a ton most likely this will all fit on my rack and I will be ready to shop again Friday or Saturday. Um, I don't like to have too big of a death pile, but I like to have some stuff in case just, I don't know, something comes up where I can't go out shopping or if I got to do stuff with family and things like that. So let me know uh, what you thought of the items I picked up. Let me know what was your best thing was that you found recently. If you like this video, go ahead and push that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell next to it for notifications. I usually will put out one haul video at least a week along with a Flippin' Friday What Sold video every Friday. I think that's the most helpful to see what I've been selling for people. So thank you for watching and I will see you Friday. Bye.